Today we're going to see how to make a keypad controlled lock for your Arduino project. This setup is programmed using Arduino Mega microcontroller where you have to type in the correct passcode on the keypad to open and close the lock using a mini servo motor. You'll also see an I2C LCD display to give you prompts and status update on the lock. You'll also notice when an incorrect password is typed in, a piezo alarm will go off as well as a red LED. Whenever you type in the correct passcode, a green LED will come on and the mini servo will open the lock for 5 seconds and then close the lock. You'll see that I chose a 4 digit passkey to open the lock. You'll see the first 3 numbers appear on the LCD display but the last one does not. And this is just a close up of the display whenever you enter the correct passcode. And now we'll see what the display says when we enter just a random code. It's obviously wrong. And once you enter that fourth number, it will say incorrect password and prompt you to try again. Now this is just a, a paper clip here that I wrapped around the lock and then bent to fit into the arm of the servo motor. Nothing fancy here. It's actually the same servo motor and lock that I used in several videos about a year ago. Here you can see a close-up of the LEDs and the 220 ohm resistors that I used. And as you can see, I used the ground rail and the positive rail as much as I could. I do prefer to use an external power supply when using a microcontroller. It's just better for the, the board not to have to provide power to all the components. I do have a lot of pins on this board and in just a moment I will share with you a diagram of just where exactly these components and devices are plugged into the board. And here I just have the keypad temporarily taped to the surface of my desk. Just very temporary. And these are all the pins to that keypad pins 2 through 9. And here behind my display I have the wires for my servo motor. The signal wires plugged into pin 12. The positive and negative are plugged into the rails on the breadboard. Here's my buzzer attached to the breadboard. I've got the negative pin of the buzzer connected to the negative rail. The positive pin of the buzzer is connected to pin 22 as you can see right here. And then I provide power through the external breadboard power supply that powers the whole thing. This diagram shows the back of the LCD display. I connected the SCL and SDA pins to pins 21 and 20 on the mega board. I also connected the ground rail to the ground pin on the mega board and the ground and VCC pins to the positive and negative rails on the breadboard. The keypad is connected to pins 2 through 9. The signal wire for the servo motor is connected to pin 12. The negative and positive pins are connected to the negative and positive rails of the breadboard. I've placed the piezo buzzer on my breadboard with the positive pin connected to pin 22 on my mega board. And the negative pin is connected to the negative rail of the breadboard. For the red and green LEDs, both of the negative pins are connected to a 220 ohm resistor which are then connected to the negative rail of the breadboard. The positive pin of the red LED is connected to pin 24 and the positive pin of the green LED is connected to pin 26. I powered everything by plugging a 9 volt wall adapter into the barrel jack of my external power supply on my breadboard and connecting the positive rail of my breadboard to the VIN pin on my mega board and connecting the negative rail of my breadboard to the ground pin on my mega board. Here's the code that I used. I won't say too much about it, but you want to be sure to use these four libraries right here, the wire keypad, liquid crystal, and servo. If you look down here, my password is 5842. If you want to change it to another number, you change that right here. Or if you want to change the length of it, up here, when you define the uh, password number length, you want it to be one number higher than the number of digits in your password. So my password is four digits long. So it's five up here. If you want it to be five digits long, it would be six up here. So that number's got to be one more. We come down here, and this is the part where the servo opens the lock. And then you got the five second delay. You can change that from five seconds to 10 seconds or whatever. And then this is the line right here where the servo closes the lock. And you can remove that if you don't want it to close. Whatever you want to do is fine. But uh, that's what I've got. And I'll include this, uh, this code here on the Facebook page.
so look for that. If you want more explanation of the code in future videos, just let me know and I'll be happy to do that. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and I will see you again very soon.